tell her again. At risk of irritating a lot of people, I thought I would have a go at explaining why all those advertisements, which I dislike as much as anybody else, only ever seem to feature black people rather than the white majority living in the country. There are three points to consider and I shall take them one by one. The first point is that objections to the multicultural society come chiefly from older people, and that is to say those over the age of 30 or 40. Most young white people seem to be okay with ethnically mixed environments, even when they find themselves in the minority. The problem is that I'm an old person who wants things to be the way they were when I was young. In those days, it was really white English people everywhere. Everywhere you looked, nothing but white people. I liked the way things were in those days. 1960s, early 1970s. I'd like to see it more like that today. Young people are not like that by and large. I mentioned yesterday the college at which I worked. Only about a third of the students there are from white English backgrounds. This didn't bother anybody. A typical class would have Lithuanians, Bengalis, Africans, Jamaicans, Bulgarians, Hindus and white English youths. They all got on excellently in class. This is the first point. Calls for repatriation, deportations, a halt on immigration, a reversal of all government policies tend to come from older people. That, that is to say, those that can compare the way things are now with the way they used to be. I'm like that myself, but then of course I'm old. Tell me, is anybody commenting in here under the age of 30? I ask because those who grew up since the turn of the century seem to be a lot more laid back about race and ethnicity and nationality than those over that age. The second point is that every young person I had dealings with the 16, 17 and 18 year old copied black styles of music, clothes, speech and so on. Almost without exception, they spoke in what I think of as jive talk. Uh, it's a form of Caribbean slang, which I mean, some call it broken English, others um, call it dialect or patois. Uh, there were three standard greetings amongst the youths. Wagwan was communist, but also Wapen. And what are you saying? Often these would be combined with cuz, short for cousin, or bro or bruv, um, signifying brother. What are you saying, cuz? Or wagwan, bro? It is really weird to hear language like this be used by a Gujarati Hindu or hearing a white boy saying I'm going yard to indicate that he's on his way home. This is the second point. Being black is cool. Talking like a black person is cool as is dressing like one with one's jeans hanging down at the back so your backside's exposed. Black music is cool. Being white is not cool, and neither is speaking clearly and in a grammatically correct fashion. These two points coincide when we come to think about advertisements. Here is a secret about companies which make advertisements. They are in it for the money. I have no idea how many are run by Jews, something which many people have mentioned in the comments here, but I do know that they do what they do for money. The people who give them money are the companies whose products and services they try to promote. We in the West live in a 
capitalist system. And I'm afraid that everything is about money in commercial business. None of it is, is about ideology, the clergy plan or anything else. The advertising companies and their clients wish to make as much money as they can. Since everybody knows that being black is cool, it's not unreasonable that when selling the latest type of plimsoll or trainer or whatever they're called these days, a young black guy is what you want to see. Not an old white guy like me. I'm the opposite of cool, whatever that is. Um, I suppose the opposite of cool is hot, but I don't think that is the most apposite way perhaps of describing myself. The advertising companies will sketch out a few ideas and then they present them to the clients who will choose which one they want to go with. John Lewis's or Sainsbury's to take two examples not wanting to promote the Kalergi plan either. They want to sell things. Today everybody wishes to appear liberal with it and non-racist obviously. What better way of demonstrating this than having a lot of black people in your advertisements? Not only does it make you look right on, which is good with older, sensible people, you can also look cool with younger customers. It's a win-win situation. Just to make things perfectly clear, I do not want to live with or near foreigners. I wish to live in a community of the kind that I knew when I was growing up. I don't want to see all those advertisements full of people who don't look like me either. As far as that is concerned, I'm at one with most of the people watching this. I don't think, though, that any of it is a plan of any kind at, at all. I think that successive governments have screwed up or thought they were behaving nobly when in fact they were being idiots. I can't blame companies for pitching advertisements which they think will be better at selling services and goods. I have an awful suspicion that most ordinary people would rather see sharp young black folk in advertisements than they would crusty old men. Sad but true.